Welcome to the series. This is where we perform hands-on exercises using Google Gemini Pro and Python. This video will serve as a quick start with the Gemini Pro API. Here, we will collect and set up the API key, install necessary libraries, configure and initiate the model, and then invoke it with our prompts to get results. We will also cover resolving some initial issues along the way. Now let's get started. All right, so this is where we're gonna write our code. First of all, let's install the library, only one simple one. And next we're gonna grab our API key. And as you can see, I already have mine. All you have to do, just go to this website. And once you're there, all you're gonna need is your email account credentials. Just log in and then you'll be in the Google AI Studio, looking just like this. You can start a chat with the API. You can have a drop down, choose something, and you know test things out. Or if you just want to get started with the API key, just click here, create API key, and clicking this button will generate an API key just like this one. And I'm going to go ahead and run this one. This is how I am configuring my GAI object that I just brought in from Google Generative AI library. Once that's done, we can now get started with the Gemini Pro text generation. All right, so we're gonna do this in three steps. First, we're gonna list the available models from the API. Then we initiate and invoke the model and display the output. So let's start with this part. Okay, so we are just calling on this object that we created right here and configured the AI.listmodels and we are putting it through a loop. And from that loop, we're gonna go ahead and look for the general content and, and supported generated methods, basically the models, and then print them out. So let's run it. All right, so from the API, these are the models we have access to. Primarily, I'm gonna be using this Gemini Pro and the Pro Vision in this series. That said, let's go to the next step. All right, so at this point, we declare this uh, model variable and initiate that model with this GAI object, GAI.generative model, and we pass through Gemini, uh, this model name. In fact, let's just change it to simply Gemini Pro, and then we invoke that using model.generateContent, and this is where we pass our prompt. Tell me a joke about USA. And now let's display it. Okay, let's run it. All right, so actually let's clean that up a little. We don't really need all these uh, model names right now, so let's just uh, disable this guy for a clean start. And I'm gonna go ahead and rerun. All right, here's the joke. Why did USA win Olympics? Blah, 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 right? So we have our output. Now let's uh, change up our prompt a little bit and see if something strange will happen. All right, so same uh, prompt pretty much, but this time we're saying, tell me a joke that only AI nerds will understand, right? So let's run that. All right, look at that, it crashed. And we can get a clue from here, check if the prompt was blocked, right? And by the way, I should mention that this Google Gemini Pro API is not very stable. It will, you know, it will fail multiple times, like at, at least uh, once every 10 try you do, it will fail. Some weird reasons. But uh, this, on the other hand, uh, is not that, that kind of reason. It has a logic behind it, which I'm about to show you. Let's bring in this guy here, where we're gonna be seeing the inside of the response with prompt feedback, right? Why exactly this is failing or being blocked? So let's check it out. All right, look at that. Sexually explicit content, negligible, harmful or dangerous content, negligible, but hate speech or harassment, ranking very high here, just because we used nerds in there. So let's change up a little bit, see what changes. Okay, so this time we're saying, tell me a joke that only AI app developers will understand. 
So let's see what the uh, feedback comes. All right, look at that, all negligible. So it should be cleared for running. So let's disable that and run it normally to generate a result. And we get a valid result. That said, let's cover one more thing before I finish this one. Let's see how we can stream our results onto the screen instead of dropping it all by itself at once. Let's bring in that code. All right, so streaming. And uh, I disabled all the above and just kept this model generation because we're gonna be needing the model right here. And I'm importing time so that I can uh, add a sleep to it. And uh, please understand, this API does not stream just like the uh, OpenAI does, the character by character, which looks nice. What they do here at uh, Google, they do block by block. They send out chunks. So sometimes this setup here, Colab, it's not really very suitable for that display clearly. So what I did, I added this line here so that after each block, it's going to have a big line of dashes and it will stop for one second after each block so that it does look like streaming. And this time I'm actually asking it a larger question, like write an imaginary scientific paper that processes a new theory about dark matters. And only thing different from above is that streaming is set to true. Otherwise, it's this exact same thing, model.generate content like here. So let's run this. Okay, now you can see these answers streaming one by one, stage by stage, block by block. And this is how we create a streaming response using Google Gemini Pro text response generation. And this would be very handy when you create chatbots and stuff. With that, I conclude this video where we perform hands-on exercises using Google Gemini Pro and Python. Thanks for watching.